Wada, g'day, and welcome to this session of Break Up With Phobias on fear of failure or atychophobia. This phobia can stop you in your tracks if you let it. If you're wanting to try something new or even finish a current project, this fear of failure holds you back, making you miss out on opportunities and stops you living your life to your full potential. What causes this phobia? Again, not one source. And for each of us, it's totally different. It can be from a hypercritical upbringing, genetics, perfectionism, high stress levels, low self-esteem, trauma, and so on. If you are one of the many people who identify with this common fear, please be kind to yourself. We need to learn to embrace our failures as they are so important in our growth and in our change. I love this quote from Zig Ziglar. Failure is a detour, not a dead end. Every time we fail, we learn another skill in the progress toward our end goal. Any time we fail is a first attempt in learning. To shed some light on this subject, think about the electric light bulb, that fantastic invention we all use every day. Thomas Edison experienced over a thousand failed attempts to get that right. Imagine if he'd stopped at 999, or the Wright brothers in their long journey to become airborne. So many failed attempts allowed them to rethink and then rethink again the process. If you're ready to break up with your fear of failure, I've prepared a gift for you. Does it sound good? Let's go. I'm going to share with you a simple tool called EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique. Think of it as a form of acupuncture without any needles. Great. Let's begin. If you're driving, you're going to have to pause here and come back when you've got time to complete this exercise. First up, find a quiet place where you can sit and relax, uninterrupted. Begin tapping on your karate point and close your eyes. Either hand is fine, just two fingers on the karate point. I want you to focus on a project or a situation where the fear of failure has presented. This could be at work, in your personal or even your dating life anywhere that you can recall that dreaded fear of failure. Remembering you are safe and this story is only playing out in the theater of your mind. Get a, a picture, a clear picture of yourself in that moment. Keep tapping on that karate point. Now eyes closed, you're gonna tune into that body and identify where the fear is presenting, which may be multiple places. It may be a tightness in your chest. It could be a knot in your stomach, sweaty palms, tight throat. Give it a moment and reflect, knowing you are safe. Your mind's eye will show you the way. If there are multiple sites where the emotion of fear is presenting, just choose one to focus on. Close your eyes. Be guided. Got it? Good. Give the intensity of that fear a shape. Example, a triangle. A color, example, purple. And an intensity, one being not strong, ten being majorly intense. Once you've got those, let's get going. Continue tapping and you're going to repeat after me. Even though I have this intense fear of failure and I can't stand the thought of rejection, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I have this intense fear of failure and I can't stand the thought of rejection, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I have this intense fear of failure and I can't stand the thought of rejection, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Now we're going to continue with tapping, starting at the top of your head. All this fear can't even start, feel stuck. To the inside of the eyebrow, what will happen? To the side of the eye, dread and fear. Under the eye, what will everyone say? Under your nose, so much unknown. Under your lip, feel so stuck. Find the sore spot which just sits under your collarbone. I gently release this fear and let it flow out and dissolve. Into the monkey position, which is about three inches under, uh, below your armpit. I embrace my failure as lessons. And under your chest, on your rib bone, I breathe in, accept. I breathe out, trust. 
again, up to the top of your head. All this fear can't even start. I feel stuck. Inside of your eyebrow, what will happen? Dread and fear. Under your eye, what will they say? So much unknown. I feel so stuck. I gently release this fear and let it flow out and dissolve. I embrace my failures as lessons. I breathe in accept, I breathe out trust. Again, up to the top of your head. All this fear can't even start, I feel stuck. Inside of your eyebrow, what will happen? Dread and fear. Under your eye, what will they say? So much unknown. I feel so stuck. I gently release this fear and let it flow out and dissolve. I embrace my failures as lessons. I breathe in accept, I breathe out trust. Now place your hands in your lap, close your eyes, let your mind's eye again show, show you where that fear of failure was showing up. Check out the shape, the color and the intensity. One being little intense, 10 being majorly intense. You keep repeating this exercise until you can get the color and the shape diminished, the number down as low as possible. And I look forward to hearing your success stories. May your failures begin to be the stepping stones to brilliant success. Until next time, love and blessings.